Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make a sprite on MS Paint. Um, this isn't going to be any particular sprite. It's just going to show you guys how to uh, what should be a proper size to make it if you're going to make an original character. Um, what kind of tools you should use to color and detail them. Um, I'm not going to put too much work into this myself. I'm just going to use it as an example because I'm on a time limit and I got other videos to make, like uh, my other game reviews and stuff and my gameplay videos. So um, let's get started. Let's make the character about this big. Okay, let's zoom up a little bit. All right, so let's not do something. Let's just do stuff something. Right. Let's just do a normal, nothing special looking guy. So, let's draw... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I'm not going to detail this. I'm more used to making uh, sprites for, let's say, RPGs and stuff. So, my hand's a little shaky. I wonder why. God, the sprite looks terrible. But whatever. Just getting the basic look across, I guess. Can I... Two minutes killed right here so far. Zoom up a little more. Let's say... I don't know. Make them look weird. This kind of looks like a spike for a platformer more than it does a fighting game. But hey, whatever. actually give him a weapon. Why not? Let's give him a little sword. You know. Save me a few emails. A few PMs. So, hey, why don't you make one with a weapon? Why don't you make one with a weapon? Huh. Let's give him a nothing special sword. Just get the let's get the thought across. Quick making, quick making, quick making. All right. Quick, 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 quick. This takes a while, I know, but I don't have a tablet, so I'm gonna have to draw it the old-fashioned way, which is fine.
This picture is coming out so badly, but at least it's making a point on how to make a sprite on MS Paint. Sheesh, to make this thing look better, I'm gonna have to like spruce it up with details. I want to avoid that, but the sprite didn't come out very well, so I'm gonna have to give it some stuff to make it stand out. Uh, oh well. You do what you gotta do. Take the first part to just add the features and part two for this video will be all about color. I need a good couple of minutes for each one. Cause it's kind of stuff maybe a little simple on MS Paint, but it's actually a little difficult because you don't really have the tools you need to make thin lines and that is a big part of sprite making you want the lines to be thin and uh... you want the lines to be real thin because it's really hard to uh... put detail into a sprite especially if you want to make it look like something like a reuse sprite which i which i really needed i used i used the gimp to make one of those and it came out pretty nice. I wish I could show you, but I don't have time for that right now. So let's make a quick little shoe. Nothing special shoe. Hand feels real slippery right now. Let's give him some laces. It's really hard to do when there's a. Give them some minor details there. It's not going to be that good, this sprite, but that's alright because it's just used for an example to help. And that's what my goal is to help. I'll gladly take questions. Um, gotta do things because when I'm done with this, those lines aren't going to be black anymore. I'm going to color over them. But I'm not going to like manually go bup, 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 bup. No. I'm going to use a specific tool, actually, the eraser tool, to uh, do it. I apologize for this failed drawing, but. Okay. Alright, uh, it's kind of fail, but. See, you want to, uh, a little tip, you want to avoid using the paintbrush tool for sprite making for maybe a couple doodles, but not really for, like, something like this. You want to avoid doing that. And, um, because the lines are just too thick. Even the paintbrush. Well, the paintbrush real thin kind of looks is kind of the same thing as a pencil, but I prefer just to use the pencil. Why? I don't know. Cause it's cool. You can also use these like straight lines and stuff, but you don't want to make it too straight. You want to put some detail into them. I'll uh, show you how to make a sprite on GIMP, and I'll show you how to make a sprite on Photoshop. Where the fins are mu the li I mean excuse me, the lines are much thinner. And I'll show you how to make a really nice sprite using that program. Um thirty-two seconds. Alright. Just make this a little longer. Cut it up a little bit. Alright. 